So hi everyone, in this video, I will be showing you how I created these images. Using just this one, my Sony Speedlight with no modifier and a backdrop that I can take anywhere. So before anything else, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel and would want to learn more about off-camera flash photography or maybe just photography in general, then this channel is for you. So you might want to consider subscribing and while you're at it, click that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you want to see some of my images, you could always find me on Instagram. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino. Okay, so welcome again to my small home studio. As I said in my intro, this is actually a setup that you guys are going to be able to do in the comforts of your home without spending too much. As you can see, my shooting area here is actually relatively very small. It is only about 2 meters wide and about 3.5 meters deep. Now, this flash unit, as I said earlier, my Sony F60RM, will be my main light source and I will not be using any modifier to modify the light. But rather what I will do is basically just use this white wall behind me and point it this in this general direction and bounces, bounce it off that wall to create beautiful soft light. Now, I am using my Sony F60RM because I love this flash. It's mounted on my Magmod MagShoe. But of course, you can use any light that you have at your disposal so long as you have the ability to shoot off camera. This one will not work as well if you're shooting on camera. So it's best that you have a flash and a trigger that can actually make your um, camera talk to your flash and make it work off camera. Okay. So the downside of not really using a conventional modifier is that you will lose a bit of light control. But again, in this particular setup that I want to do, I just want to be able to flood light to my subject and create that nice, beautiful, soft light. By bouncing my light off the wall, I am basically making this entire scene one big light source, therefore creating a very, very nice, soft light. Now, here is actually the key for this entire shoot. It is this one. This is a portable backdrop that I recently purchased from Kate Backdrop. I actually have here a 5-in-1 reflector because when I was searching online and I saw this, I actually thought it would be similar to this 5-in-1 reflector. This 5-in-1 reflector is, used to be my go-to backdrop for some headshots whenever I am shooting. This one can give me a white backdrop and if I open it up, it can give me a black backdrop. But I was actually pleasant, pleasantly surprised when I got this backdrop in the mail. It is a lot bigger than I expected here. It is actually so much bigger, see? So it makes it a easier, it makes it easier for me to be able to shoot wider shots. Now, this is a dual-sided backdrop as you can see here, and it's printed on microfiber fabric that's non-reflective. So that's one reason why I love this backdrop so much. And to be honest, at $100, I think it is quite a good investment, especially if you're really into portrait photography. Now, it also has an attachment here, a Velcro attachment that allows you to put it on a backdrop holder like this one. Now, for me, in my small home studio, I actually just use two Manfro Manfrotto auto poles so that I am saving space. I don't have like the tripod legs on the floor. These Manfrotto auto poles are basically pressure it's like um, spring-loaded poles that actually go up to your ceiling and to your floor and it gives a tension so that it doesn't move anymore. Here, like that, okay? So I will just be putting this one here on the backdrop pole that I connected to these auto poles. There we go. But basically, if you don't have this, all you have to do is really just look for a really nice wall and just prop it on the wall. You'll be okay. Okay, so from here, let's talk about the camera that I will be using. 
So the camera that I'm using now is my Sony A7R Mark IV with a 50mm 1.4 lens installed. Now the reason why I sh I'm shooting with a 50mm 1.4 is number one, 50mm I want to do a half body portrait so I can maximize the size of my backdrop. And I want to shoot at 1.4 because this particular type of backdrop really begs to be blurred out. So I want to shoot with a bit of bokeh. Now, my flash is also controlled remotely, as I said earlier, using this one, the Sony WRC-1M. Now, the beautiful thing about the Sony WRC-1M and the Sony flash unit is I actually have a custom function button set here, and when I press it, you can see I can actually control the power of my flash using the in-menu system that's here in my camera. Now, my camera is also held into place by this beautiful tripod from Peak Design. This is a carbon fiber Peak Design tripod. It's small, it's sturdy, and I really do love using it here, either here in the studio or out in the field. Now, everything that you are seeing is basically a live view of what my camera is seeing because I have it connected to my Atomos Ninja V, which is basically recording what my camera is seeing. So everything that you will be seeing now is straight out of camera unless stated otherwise, okay? So let's go into my settings. Basically, I am gonna set now my camera to remove all existing ambient light because I want my light just coming from this flash. So how am I supposed to do that? Now, I need to turn on my flash first. I turn off my flash first because with this particular flash units or this particular trigger, the moment I put it, it actually disables live view. In other words, I am not gonna see the proper exposure. Look what will happen if I turn off my flash. Nothing, because I am still set on my existing ambient light. But if I do this now, I'll set my camera on manual mode, and I will put my shutter speed at 1 over 250, which is basically the flash sync speed of my camera. Now at 1.4 ISO 100, I am still getting a lot of my existing ambient light because this ambient light is actually strong because I am using video lights in order to give you a better experience when watching this video. So I can actually go and stop down, let's say to 2.8, as you can see now, um, we don't see any existing ambient light, or maybe I can actually go on high speed sync and put it at 1 over maybe 640 or 500. Now, the problem with high-speed sync is that it actually removes a lot of power from my flash. So in other words, I want to stay within my flash sync speed of 1 over 250. So how am I supposed to cut the light now since I still want to be shooting at 1.4? This is what we're going to do. I am actually going to install an ND filter on this camera. Okay. So I actually have here installed on my lens a Freewell magnetic filter. Right now, I have the base ND filter installed, but I don't think it's enough for me to be able to remove all existing ambient light. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install this one. This is, check this out. This is what's so cool about it. It's actually magnetic and it's a very ND. So in other words, I can just twist the, the filter there we go, to get the proper exposure that I want. So let's see, maybe about two stops should be good. So now basically we don't have any ambient light coming into my sensor. Look what will happen now the moment I turn on my flash. The moment I turn on my flash, it will automatically disable live view so that now we can see what we are actually shooting, okay? Then I also want to be able to set my white balance. This, white, this flash is actually set at about 5600 Kelvin. So let me set my white balance to 5600 Kelvin. Okay. Now I am also shooting in RAW plus JPEG. And at the same time, you can see here my focusing mode is on AFC. In other words, it's continuous focusing because these Sony systems are so fantastic, especially the IAF, that even if I have my camera here more or less in the chest level of my subject, the moment I press my AF on button in the back, it will automatically look for my subject's eye and focus on that. So with everything out of the way, I think it's time for me to call in my wife who will be my model again for today, okay? Babe, come on in. Hi, babe. Hi, babe. 
You look fantastic as usual. And of course, we'd like to thank our friend Mela Jimenez for virtually assisting Coco put on her makeup for today. Okay, so let's go on to my flash settings, babe. There we go. Let's, can you move here a bit? Okay, face is light. My flash settings right now are set at full power, basically, since we have so much um, light that we're throwing in this general direction. Plus, our ND filter is set at about three stops plus the, var the ND base, so that's about four stops. So we really need as much light as possible. Now, I will take one test shot now to see. All right, babe. Beautiful. I love it. So we're going to fix the post later, but I also want to show you guys another option as you guys may be wondering why I'm not using high speed sync instead. So let's say I take out just the ND filter first, take out the base ND, okay, and put my flash now on high speed sync, okay. But let I have to now change basically my shutter speed. I'll turn off my flash and adjust my shutter speed so that I am completely blacked out like this one now, one over 2,500. Now, my flash now is set at high speed sync at full power and let's see. As you can see, if I shoot with high speed sync, I am losing so much power and I am actually underexposed. It is actually better for us to use ND filters instead of having to go on high speed sync. And that's the reason on why I actually like this very ND from uh, Freewell because number one, it's magnetic. So it's easy for me to put together. And number two, it's a very ND. In other words, I have multiple ND systems in my at my disposal just by twisting this ring. So if you want to know more about this one, please do subscribe to the channel because I will be doing a more detailed um, review about this ND filter system, okay, from Freewell, okay? So let me turn off my flash again. Let's bring it down to one over 250. As you can see, I'm still not getting any of the existing ambient light and I will turn off my high speed sync now. Okay, high speed sync will now be turned off, all right? Okay, so my flash power is still at one over, uh, at full power, and babe, this is where our light source is coming from. So can you pose here with your feet also, maybe twist your left knee, there we go. Put your hands here and just profile going here. That's beautiful, that's perfect, arc your back. Very nice. Relax your fingers a little bit more, this way, this way. Instead of, yeah, there we go. And then look at me, too much. Maybe somewhere here, there, that's it. Very nice, beautiful, then look at me. Very nice, I love it. Hold on, one more, look here. Love it. I'm loving it a lot. They look fantastic, babe, in all the images. Just to recap, I basically had my Sony A7R Mark IV with a 50, 50 millimeter 1.4 lens so that we could do a half body portrait. And if, as you can see, the, the lens is actually somewhat here at chest level of the subject, which is actually the perfect camera height for a half body portrait. Now, in order for me to get the most out of my flash, I actually put a very ND filter here. This is made by Freewell, it's a magnetic ND filter. And then everything that you basically saw was straight out of the camera, but afterwards you will be able to see the processed image the moment I end this video. I also had my Sony F60RM here, basically just throwing light this way, and then the light is coming back to her in a very soft manner. In other words, I, we were able to soften the light because we were able to bounce it in such a big wall, creating a really big source of light. And lastly, which was the key to this entire shot, actually was this portable backdrop from Kate Backdrop, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please do consider subscribing to the channel. And while you're at it, click that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you want to see some of my images or more of my images, you can always find me on Instagram. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino. Okay, till the next video.